If you want to grow fig trees, as a fig grower, it's very important to know about the different fig types. I'm gonna explain what I mean, but first, if you're enjoying these videos, please like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified of future videos. Okay, so fig types. Now I'm not talking about green figs and black figs. That's a whole different conversation altogether about people that classify all the green figs the same and all the dark figs the same. Like I'll call my local grocery store that gets figs all the time and ask, what kind of figs do you have? And I always get one of two answers. We got green ones or we got black ones. Green ones or black ones. I bet if I called and said, what kind of apples do you have? I wouldn't get the response, we got red ones or green ones. Anyways, that usually ends up with me asking if he can read the name on the box, and sometimes I'll get, oh, it says Kadoda or Kalamirna. But sometimes, even the box they came in or were put into after arriving to the grocery store doesn't even have a name on it. But like I said before, that's not what I meant by fig types. So what did I mean by fig types? Picture this scenario. You take a flight to go visit some family in the beautiful Mediterranean, or maybe a cousin in California, and you taste these incredible figs from a local farm or his tree, and they blow you away because they're so good. You ask him for some cuttings so you can grow them when you travel back home. And he says, sure. So you get back home and root these three different cuttings from three different trees that you got and they grow into three beautiful trees and eventually they all carry figs and you're excited to start eating figs from your trees. Well, tree number one and tree number two put out a Breba crop as soon as the spring hits. A Breba crop is an early crop that starts growing on last year's wood instead of this year's wood. These are figs that were about to come out last year, but then everything got cold and the tree stopped growing. So they kind of hung out under the wood during the winter, waiting for spring so they could pop out. A lot of people love having a fig tree that puts out a Breber crop because it gets them eating figs earlier in the season, even though the Breber crop doesn't usually taste as good as the main crop, which are the figs that grow on the new branches that are formed this year. So tree one and tree two put out a Breba crop, but tree three didn't because some varieties just don't produce a Breba crop. And tree three happened to be one of those varieties. All right, no problem. We can just eat the main crop from tree three, right? Well, as the season progressed and we ate all the Breba crop and then the main crop figs on all the trees got bigger, you notice that both tree two and tree three are dropping their main crop figs before they even ripen and are ready to eat. While tree number one is doing fantastic and has even started ripening some delicious main crop figs for you to eat. So what's going on? All these trees are receiving the same treatment, the same watering, the same feeding, the same sunlight. So why did you get two crops from tree one, one crop from tree two, and no crops from tree three? Well, tree one is what's called a common fig. Tree two is what's called a San Pedro type. And tree three is what's called a Smyrna type. All of these fig trees are female trees. And there is actually a male fig tree as well. And it's called a Capri fig. And what nature actually intended is that all three of your fig trees, common, San Pedro, and Smyrna, be pollinated from a male fig tree called a Capri fig. How that happens basically is a very tiny flying insect called a fig wasp will fly out from the male Capri fig and bring pollen to those three female fig trees you have. This process is called caprification. The caprification process is very interesting, but we'll leave that for another video. Now, even though the common fig tree you have, tree number one, 
ripened its figs without caprification, and they tasted good. They would have actually been even bigger and sweeter had they been caprified. Now that fig wasp cannot exist in colder areas like where I live. It's indigenous to the Mediterranean region. And actually, what they did to get it in California is they went to Turkey and brought the fig wasp to California. And since the weather is warm enough, the fig wasp survived in California. So what's the deal with tree two, the San Pedro type? Why did we get a Briba crop, but not a main crop? Well, that's how a San Pedro type is. The Briba crop will ripen without the fig wasp, but the main crop needs the fig wasp. So a variety like Desert King is a San Pedro type. This variety is very popular because the Briba fig it produces is so delicious, it's better than some main type varieties. So to summarize, we have the common fig tree. Let's split that into two. The female common fig types that don't produce a Briba crop, such as Black Madeira, which will grow and produce delicious figs without the fig wasp, but will be better with the fig wasp. Then we have the other female common fig type, such as Italian honey, that do produce a Briba and a delicious main crop that again will taste even better with the fig wasp. Then we have the female Smyrna fig, such as Calamirna, I think is a Smyrna fig, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, which will only ripen for you if you live in the fig wasp zone. Then the female San Pedro type, such as Desert King, which will grow and only ripen the Briba crop if you live outside the fig wasp zone. And finally, the male Capri fig, which from what I understand is rare to have edible figs, but of course there are always exceptions to the rule because a delicious fig called Pingo de Mel, which I'm happy to have in my collection, is a male and puts out a spectacular fig. So if you live outside the fig wasp zone, make sure you get the right type of tree so you can ripen some delicious figs. Beware of buying from eBay. A lot of international growers don't realize the figs that they are growing need the fig wasp when they sell you. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, and leave me any comments if you have any questions.